Hey there guys, Jeff Pelizzaro from 18 Strong, and today we're going to be talking about these little slidey things that you see everybody using at the gym. They can be called gliders, sliders, whatever they are. Uh, you can find some pretty expensive ones in, on some of the fitness sites, or you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and find some furniture movers, and I found that those do just about the same trick. But I've got these little uh, frisbee looking ones here today, and... So for the what, why, how, we're talking about why would you use these gliders? You know, what, what are they good for? And all those different exercises you see people doing, how does that affect your golf game? So why would you use them? Because they're a way to create some variety. They're a way to work on some abdominal type strengthening, shoulder strengthening, scapular strengthening. There's all kinds of good things that can happen because of the positions you put yourself in the stresses that you put on your body when you're using these things and they're just kind of cool looking they're just kind of fun to use so I definitely recommend giving them a try and kind of implementing them into your program instead of doing your typical crunches or some of those things I'm also going to show you today a couple ways that you can use them so how do you use them um, and what do you use them for one is obviously the the strengthening the core strengthening the stability but you're also gonna be able to use them for some hip range of motion and working on just some control and stabilization while gaining some more motion at your hips. So the first one that I have been using for years is what I just call mountain climbers. As you know, most fitness professionals will end up making up their own terms for everything. So you can hardly go by the names of the different exercises unless it's some of the basic lifts. But I've got my own little names for these different ones. We're gonna call these mountain climbers because it's basically that mountain climber position. You're gonna get yourself in a hands and toes position where you've got your feet on the sliders. And put, the, put your feet right in the middle of them because that's gonna allow them to stay under your feet the whole time. They tend to shift around a little bit. But as you're in this plank position, I want you to kind of squeeze your butt, make sure you're in a nice flat line, keep your head nice and straight so you're not tipping your head forward or looking up towards the ceiling or, or sagging your butt or butt in the air. And then you're just gonna do your standard mountain climber motion. Just back and forth. And usually what I'll have people do is, you know, do 10 on each side, 15 on each side, 20 on each side. Just kind of gauge yourself and see what you can tolerate there. The next one that you could do is, is almost the same thing, but you're just moving both legs at the same time and I just call these knee tucks. And so it's a little different challenge, a little different feel. You're just gonna come up, big squeeze there, and then straight back out. So not only am I working my abdominals, my hip flexors, I'm also getting a lot of work in my triceps, my shoulders, my shoulder blades, working all of those different pieces. Uh, that one even works the quads a little bit. So as you're moving through the motion, you're starting to feel the stress in your quads. Then one of the ones that we can do to create a little bit more rotation in our body and work on the hips a little is same position. You could have both feet on the sliders or you could just put one foot on and, and have that be the one that's moving. But we're gonna work in kind of a cross fashion. So we're gonna come up and across. So I'm feeling a lot of twisting in my torso, but I'm also getting some rotation on my left hip here because I have to keep my toes down while my body is turning. And then if I go the, towards you, same thing. So I'm kind of bringing the knee up, then across, and back out. So up, across, back up. So that's a great one to work a little bit on the rotation there. And then we can also get a little motion just at the hips by just doing a big, huge circle here. And I like to go in both directions. So you're working that hip joint, all the muscles around the hip, but you're also getting a really good core and trunk workout here. So another couple ways where you can get a little bit of both there, working on the hip as well as the core. And then the last one 
is one of my favorites. It looks pretty easy, but it's actually one of the hardest. I'm going to put this little pad down so I don't hurt my pretty little elbows because this uh, turf gets a little gritty. But if you go on your stomach in your plank position, again, don't put your hands together in your plank. Open the hands out a little bit. Now I'm going to lift my butt up in the air, squeeze in my, my butt, squeeze in my thighs, nice straight back, and then I'm just going to push myself back as far as I can go and pull myself back forward. Just back and forth like so. Feeling this a lot through my stomach, through my abdominals, even up into my arms. And like I said, that one is way, way harder than it looks, but it's one of my favorite ones. Again, typically I would do these type of motions towards the end of my workout or uh, you know, if you're doing heavier lifts, you always wanna do this kind of stuff later so you're not expending your abdominal control strength, core strength, before you do those exercises. You wanna do this stuff kind of at the end. So again, the what is the sliders. Any kind you can find, they all work about the same. The why is we're gonna do it because it's working the core, it's creating, again, some variety, keeping you entertained, keeping you engaged in the exercises. So you're not just doing the same old thing. You're not just doing regular boring old crunches or anything like that. You're, you're mixing it up. You're getting your whole body involved in your core workout. And then how you saw the different varieties of different things that we can do. So be sure to, uh, to check out whatever you have at your gym. If you don't have any, like I said, go to one of the, the Home Depots or Lowe's or whatever you have near you and just look for the furniture gliders, sliders, whatever they're called. And uh, they're a great little addition. You can throw them in your bag to uh, put in your workout. So if you're enjoying these What, Why, How videos, be sure to subscribe to the, to the uh, station here, the YouTube channel. And also go over and check out the 18 Strong Podcast on iTunes or Stitcher. And we appreciate all of your support. Train hard, practice smart, play better golf.